Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at listening to and installing the MBRP 3-inch XP Series muffler bypass pipe available for the 2019 and newer Ram 1500 with the factory dual exhaust. Now, as you just heard from those sound clips, I'm gonna give this five out of five on our loudness meter. Now, keep in mind, guys, a full catback obviously leaves you the potential to be even louder, but as far as mufflers are concerned, replacing a muffler with just straight pipe with absolutely no baffling or no muffler whatsoever is obviously just gonna be the loudest of the loud in that category. Now, this one here, being the 409 stainless steel, is great for guys looking for a middle-of-the-road option that keeps the cost down but also gives you corrosion and rust resistance and being that it is just straight pipe the muffler here is going to give you a really loud rumble at idle much louder than the factory muffler and resonator pipe and then at wide open throttle it's going to be the loudest a muffler can possibly be or lack thereof in this case now the price tag for this guy comes in right around 300 bucks install and giving three out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Not because it's terribly difficult, but it does add a couple of extra steps since you have to cut off the factory muffler. Now the factory muffler gets cut at the backside right above the axle where it splits off into the dual tailpipes. Then on the other side of that muffler, you'll unbolt the flange that connects to the resonator pipe and then unbolt the flange that connects the resonator pipe to the cat pipe. It's actually pretty simple, but it does require a cutting tool of choice. I'm gonna recommend a Sawzall along with some eye protection and gloves, of course, just to be safe. But overall, it's just gonna take a couple of extra steps with those specialty tools. Now, if you're not comfortable cutting, you don't wanna do it yourself, no shame handing it over to a professional to get done properly. And of course, you wanna make sure you're being safe. Now, we're working on a lift here, which makes life a lot easier, but if you're working on the ground, just make sure you get the vehicle up enough off the ground to give you some space to work with. I'm gonna take you guys through the entire process from start to finish. It'll take you about an hour. What do you say we get started? Tools used in the install include an impact gun, a sawzall for a cutting tool of your choice, 14 and 16 millimeter swivel sockets are recommended, 15 millimeter deep socket, 14 millimeter wrench, and gloves and eye protection. Next up here with the muffler out of place, we're gonna remove our resonator pipe. Go all the way back to the factory flange where it connects to the cat pipe, grab a 15 deep socket. We're gonna get these two nuts off. All right, with those two guys out of the way, you're just gonna slide this out and set it aside. So we got our factory muffler and resonator pipe off of our 2019 5.7 Ram, and it's on the ground here next to our MBRP muffler bypass. Now I wanna take you through some similarities and differences here, and the first thing I wanna start off with is the front end. Now on the factory resonator pipe, it, it's just that. It's a pipe with a factory resonator on it. That resonator there is gonna baffle some of that volume. It's gonna restrict some of the airflow, and it's there for a reason from the factory, but if you're looking to really maximize the airflow of your exhaust flow, bump up a small amount of horsepower and torque, and also beef up the sound profile, getting rid of that resonator can make a bit of a difference, and that's what you get here with the bypass pipe. Now, the bypass really comes into play on the muffler side of things, but that resonator pipe is essentially just a straight piece of 409 stainless steel. It's got a new flange there, so it'll connect to the factory studs on a factory flange pipe, but all in all, it's gonna fit like the factory one. Coming out of that is the bigger difference. You can see the factory muffler is a huge cylindrical tube, and that's got a ton of baffling on the inside. It's got a lot of chambers there to really muffle the sound, and that's really the goal of a muffler there. And and the factory Ram one is absolutely massive. Switching over to a bypass pipe or really a muffler delete, you're just getting straight pipe. It is literally a straight pipe exhaust going from the cat pipes all the way back to the tailpipes. Now your tailpipes do have small resonators built in, so it's not like it's completely resonator-less. It's just gonna have significantly less baffling. So better airflow, better horsepower and torque gains. You'll see a small bump there with acceleration and throttle response as well. And Finally, you're gonna get more volume, which you heard from our sound clip earlier. Now we're gonna start with the install up at the extension pipe. Keep in mind, guys, depending on your cab size and bed length, you may need to make some cuts to this pipe in particular and or use the extension pipe included in the kit, which would go in between the two pipes. So there could be three in total. Check the instruction booklet included in the kit to make sure you're doing it correctly for your vehicle. For ours, we're able to just use the resonator pipe as it sits along with the muffler pipe with no extension. So let's start here. All right, first step of the install, grab that inlet pipe. You're gonna lay that over the factory flange using the new flange. And you basically just hook those on to the factory studs. Make sure it's centered correctly. All right, with that in place, grab the factory nuts and put them back on those studs. All right, now when you tighten this down, make sure it's tightened down evenly so it gets a nice leak-free seal. All 
All right, next up, make sure you have a clamp on the outlet side of your resonator bypass. Slide it on to the factory tailpipes over top of the rear axle. Once that's in place, you might want to loosen up your inlet pipe that we just installed just to make it a little bit more flexible. Bring them down and then up as you connect them. Now, when you do this, you want to make sure that there's a clamp on there, which I do not have on there right now, so I'm just going to slide this guy on. Really easy. Once you have that in place, connect those two pipes. Again, it is definitely easier if you loosen up the inlet pipe there. From there, bring it up and slide the hanger into the isolator. Now, if you need to, to make life easier, you can lubricate that isolator just to make it slide in there a little bit better. Now, before we tighten down our clamps, let's connect the two isolators on this side. Let's connect the rest of our isolators here. I'm gonna start with this longer one on the outside. Slide that into place, bring that all the way in. And now we connect the other one. Just like that. Grab your 15 socket and let's tighten down our clamps. Do the same thing for the other clamp. All right, with the same 15 millimeter deep socket, tighten down that other clamp. All right, with all of your hardware tightened down, if you like the spot that it's in, it doesn't need to be adjusted, you're good to go. Well, that's gonna wrap up my review and install for the MBRP 3-inch XP Series Muffler Bypass Pipe, available for the 2019 and newer 5.7 Ram 1500 with the factory dual exhaust. You can get yours right here at americantrucks.com.